Hello guys, uh, I'm going to show you today how to install uh, Ubuntu 24.04 on Workstation Pro 17. What I notice is when Ubuntu is installed and you reboot, the screen freeze or become black. So I'm going to show you how to install it and then how to fix it. If you already have it installed and just need to fix, you can you know skip the video, go to the end and uh, see how to actually uh, you know fix the problem. Then let's start, click on create new uh, machine. Choose, I will install the operating system later. Linux and Ubuntu 64, maybe by default. Choose the name you want to call it. I'm just gonna call it test now. Uh, you can choose, you know, how much size you want of your disk. I'll just leave it by default for the testing purposes now. And finish here. Once you have your machine created, choose Edit Virtual Machine. You can choose how much you want. I can maybe put 16, a bit quicker. And you have to do CD, DVD, right? Choose ISO image file, browse, and go to the uh, image where you download it, and choose your image. Click OK and you can start the virtual machine you have to choose try or install ubuntu click enter and machine should start after a while you know you have to come to the screen so you can choose your settings whatever language you use and your keyboard, use wired connection, this is what you have to choose. Install Ubuntu, interactive installation, default. You can choose this, install third parties. You can see even now the screen is flickering a little bit, which is not good. You can choose erase disk. Enter. See here, that's the issues that we can fix after. Click next, location, install. I'm going to pause the video, you know, until this is installed, but it's going to take around probably four or five minutes for the whole installation to go through and I'll be back once all done. Okay, so the Ubuntu has been uh, installed now. So once we click restart now, then probably, you know, our PC will uh, get freeze or something. Let's Let's have a look. After quite a long time, usually it's come, you know, quite straight, but I don't know, for me now, it takes probably around more than one minute, you get this message, please remove the installation medium, press enter. So if you press enter, now this will uh, reboot again, and your Ubuntu should start. Okay, so if you put your password, And now after I click next, I'm expecting my screen to freeze. Okay, even freeze now. You can see nothing happening. Uh, even if I click enter full screen, I don't... You saw my screen has uh, get screen, uh, you know, black. I can't do it. Sometimes in your situation, maybe not black. You might see Ubuntu, but you know, it's freeze. So you can see I can't do anything now at the moment. Everything is gone. So the best thing you have to do is uh, try to go to your uh, task manager and uh, queue, queue this session, you know, for um, queue VMware or workstation. And then you have to reboot your PC because if you don't reboot your PC, uh, you, can't, you can't fix it. So I'm going to reboot my PC and we'll come back again and show you how to, to, to fix it. Okay, so I have uh, rebooted my PC. So don't start it at all, because if you start again, you're gonna have to reboot your PC again. So all you need to do is come to edit virtual machine setting, 
display you have to remove accelerate 3d 3d graphics click ok then you start your machine now your ubuntu should start and uh, not freeze okay so type your password next next no next finish okay open your terminal and you have to uh, type these commands which is for uh, at a PPA repository for graphic drivers so once you fix them So this is the command. Obviously, I'll, I'll put the command in the description anyway. That this is the command you have to do. Then you do sudo apt update. And upgrade. Okay, once you're done, you can go now and shut down your uh, Ubuntu. Go back to the settings. Display, you can enable it again. Start it and now uh, everything should uh, work. Okay, so always good now. No flickering, no nothing. So you can now install, use your, uh, you know, your Ubuntu, and you you should be good to go. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please, uh, you know, ask in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.